In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can import and export our sites as templates. What I'm going to do first is import a template, then explain to you how you would export a template first of all. So once you see it import, then you'll understand what you can do. So let's choose a file. I have some files I've already done. I'm going to use this one here, this moving template. So I've done that. These two settings here, prefix to remove and prefix to add, that lets you change the files, the, the pages that are imported. In this particular case, you'll see when I uh, create this that all the uh, files have the word moving as the first uh, six characters. Now, if I wanted to remove that, then all I'd do here is just type it in as moving, which is what I have as the... Uh, first six characters. If I wanted to add something new, I could add in the uh, Denver College or Denver, Denver Moving or Denver Move maybe, just so we've got a different word. And then all I have to do um, is click the Upload File and Import. And that imports for me. And we'll get a message in a moment. There we go. Your template has been imported. If we now go to mobile sites, we now have a site called Denver Move. If I click site pages, you see all my pages have been prefixed with Denver Move. So I can re-import that same template again, and this time I can make it for um, Chicago U-Haul, or Florida Moving Company, or ABC Move, or ABC Haulage, whatever we wanted to, to do. So we could reuse the same template many, many times over. I'm sure you get the idea of how powerful that is for you. You could create one template for uh, dentists and create this, the same site several times just by importing the same template. So it's it's quite a complicated thing. Let's look a little bit closer at this at what we've done. So let's just go to the main page here, Denver Move. And you'll see down here, what it's done is put the, in there the moving company. That's the original page title. It doesn't change the page titles in there, those page titles. Um, it's linked to a page thing called Denver Move. So we, we, I actually imported a theme with this. It has its own uh, distinct theme. So it, it imported that as part of the template. Uh, down here you see, look, it's brought in a background image for, for this particular page. And what else have we got? It's brought in a logo and changed the color of the logo background. So it's bringing all the settings for the individual pages. If we come down here to the profile section, sorry, the, the preview section, not the profile section, the preview section, you see down here a preview of the uh, file, the, the, the site that is actually imported. You can see it's brought in all these other pages here. And uh, if we go to in the image media library, let's go there, media library, you find that the images that it was using for the background image and the uh, logo have actually been moved here direct from the other site where I created this from. Uh, they've been pulled across onto this site here. Um, the theme, if we go to themes, then you find that uh, we have the theme down here somewhere. There we go, Denver Move. So it, it brought the theme in and did all the settings on the theme, all the colors that were set up for this on the original uh, theme in my other site. So everything gets pulled across and moved. Now w one thing you must remember though, that the only thing that uh, you have to be a little tiny bit careful about is if you create a, a theme uh, so you export a site as a theme, uh, it creates an XML file. When you import that, it pulls the images across from the original site. So you must still have the original images on the original site. 
if whenever you use this thing otherwise you can't pull those images into your media library that's the only thing you have to be careful of with, with this everything else is just use the XML file just import it the way you, you've seen me do but how do you actually create these XML files then all you have to do is export as template choose which site you want to export so then we'll move back and export for image gallery and export this demo site I could export and they would all get listed down here these are some I did a little bit earlier under the demonstration and once you've got a, a site export just right click on the download and it'll download the XML file for you it depends which uh, browser you have I'm using Chrome at the moment and I want this one here that says save link as and that will download the XML template for me uh, that's pretty much it. It's very, very straightforward. So export here, you get an XML file. Save that on your computer. Go to import, import template. And here, choose that, that XML file on the, the new site where you want to import it. Click upload file and import and it will bring it in. And remember, use this prefix to remove a prefix from the front of your original XML file and prefix to add, let you add something so you have a distinct, unique set of uh, template file, sorry, mobile site files. Okay, I hope you found that easy. It's a very, very powerful feature of the Easy Mobile Site Generator.